Ford Motors emerged this week a Wall Street winner after losing $1.5 billion in the first quarter. Traders relieved the losses weren't worse, drove the stock up more than 11 percent. Still is a loss, but it does indicate that they are, to some extent, getting back on track in terms of their financial recovery. More important, Ford cut its spending in half. We actually should see a nice halo effect for Ford. That's because the situation at both Chrysler and General Motors is dire. The Treasury Department threw GM a $2 billion lifeline Friday, bringing its total bailout to $15.5 billion. GM must drastically restructure itself by June 1st to avoid bankruptcy, which many analysts and GM employees feel is inevitable. You know, everybody's looking at the big picture, you know, uh, about filing bankruptcy, you know, so we, we don't know what's ahead. To cut costs, GM announced this week it would temporarily close 13 plants over the summer and will scrap its 82-year-old muscle brand, Pontiac. All the sacrifices we made to date were not enough and we'd have to sacrifice more. A little disheartening, uh, there's a lot of anxious people out there right now. Behind the scenes, GM is busy negotiating a compromise on pricey benefits with the United Auto Workers Union. We are in the midst of the grandest game of chicken in Detroit you can imagine. GM's also working with its bondholders, who have collectively loaned the company $28 billion. So far, no deal. The bondholders continue to say, well, maybe we're going to get a better deal in bankruptcy court. So they're holding out until the last possible moment. The last possible moment is here for Chrysler, which faces bankruptcy as early as Friday. Chrysler has reportedly begun filing bankruptcy paperwork, even as it continues to work out a merger deal with Italian car maker Fiat. The US government says if there's no merger agreement by next week, Chrysler is on its own. No more bailout money. Jeff. Okay, Priya Davidson, I thank you.